Hey guys, it's Kay from How Do You Organizing. Welcome back to my channel. And if you were like me growing up, you watched the Jetsons every day before school and you were in love with Rosie the Cleaning Robot and always wanted a robot of your very own. Well, it's 2017 and cleaning robots are definitely now a thing. So stay tuned if you want to hear my thoughts about the iRobot Brava 380T. Now I know most of you out there have probably heard of the Roomba vacuuming robot from iRobot or maybe you've just seen it in a cat video. iRobot was started by three graduate students from MIT who used to design uh, vehicles and robots for space exploration and military defense. Now they make home robots, automated robots for vacuuming, cleaning, and they also make one for pool cleaning, I believe. The Roomba robot vacuum was first introduced in 2002, and an interesting fact is that the Roomba is designed for users to actually hack into it so they can program it and improve its quality. Having dominated the uh, automated vacuum robot market for a long time, they introduced the Scuba mopping robot in 2005. The design of the Scuba was round, kind of like the Roomba, and it actually talked. It also actually manually scrubbed the floor and sucked up the dirty water in the process of its uh, go-round, but it was actually quite noisy. iRobot phased out production of the Scuba in favor of the Brava. Now the Brava mopping robot was actually developed by another technology company called Evolution Robotics. Evolution Robotics, who developed the Brava, actually called it the Mint. And every time I see this picture of the Mint, it makes me feel like I want Mint Oreos for some reason. iRobot acquired Evolution Robotics in 2012 and eventually changed the name of the Mint to the Brava. Now there are two versions of the Brava on the market right now. There is the Brava Jet, which actually sprays a jet of water in front of the robot before it goes and uh, mops the floor. It actually uh, does have a vibrating uh, pad so that it does scrub the floor a little bit. It can do up to 150 square feet. And now for the main event, let's talk about the Brava 380T. As you can see, the 380T is quite small and it's square in shape and it actually sits up like this on its charger, which I'll um, insert a uh, cutaway of the charger now. It sits in its charger. I know that the uh, Roomba devices that were vacuum devices uh, went back to their charger after they finished their cleaning cycle. Uh, the Brava does not. I, I don't think either Brava does that. It's because it sits on its charger like this. Um, I think that's a totally fine choice. I don't mind that it doesn't uh, go back to its charger. What it does do is actually go back to the place where it started its cleaning process. Anyway, so here is the Brava. It weighs about four pounds and um, it's very sleek looking. It's black, it looks really cool. Um, it's inconspicuous in your house. I think it actually has a handle. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? You know what that reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of like the old school MacBooks <laughs> when they had that handle. Anyway, as you can see, the Brava has um, three buttons. So it's got uh, your power button and this little drip is the mop function, and here is the sweep function. The sweep function and the mop function uh, just uh, change the way the Brava moves on the floor when it has the cleaning pad attached. The sweep function just more of a straight up and down motion, and, and the mop, mop motion is kind of a side to side um, Y shaped uh, stream with a, where the uh, Brava travels. Anyway, as you can see, there's also three little lights here. The Brava also comes uh, with this, uh, what they're calling this, the North Star Navigation Cube, which I think is actually a pretty cute name. Uh, this little machine acts as a beacon. Uh, it does come with and charges on two uh, C batteries, which is an odd uh, size, but uh, they did come with the Brava, which is really great. And uh, for the record, I got this uh, entire kit for Christmas and it uh, I have not yet had to replace the batteries and I've used the Brava um, at least three or four times a week so that'll give you an idea of how long the batteries actually last for the navigation cube. Um, oh I didn't tell you how much it retails for. This retails for um, I think manufacturer's retail price is $299.99 which is about $300 so um, if I'm if I'm not correct I'll put that uh, on the screen there but I believe it is $300 so this is quite an investment for anybody who uh, is looking for one of these machines the uh, 
jet. Uh, the other model, I believe, is cheaper. I will also put that price um, on the screen for you so that you can see how much that is. Anyway, it comes with a little navigation cube. Like I was saying, this acts as a little beacon, and it helps the Brava uh, navigate the room and tell it where to go. You can use um, just one of these cubes in your room and then put another one, I think, seven meters away, um, and it will mop a further distance. Uh, in our apartment, our apartment is about 700 square feet. Um, we are not mopping the entire apartment. Some of the apartment, um, uh, some of the square footage is our master closet, which has a carpet in it that doesn't need to get mopped, and the bathroom, which gets mopped or cleaned in a separate uh, place. And we also have an area rug in our living room. So I'm estimating we only have about uh, maybe like 300 square feet of uh, floor that the Brava actually has to work on. It does stay away from carpets. It does not go down the stairs. Um, and it uh, does not bump. It bumps into furniture and then learns to avoid the furniture. And that's what the North Star uh, Navigation Cube helps with. Um, when you start the, uh, the Brava, the little light will come on and it will connect to the North Star Navigation Cube. But I will show you that in the demo. It also comes with uh, two cloths, a wet and a dry cloth. The wet cloth is the blue cloth and the dry cloth is the white cloth. These are still in the wrapper because my mother was n lovely enough and thoughtful enough to give me an entire pack of these, uh, both of these cloths, so I haven't had to open these yet because these are machine washable. They are a microfiber cloth. Uh, so that when you put them in the wash, do not add any fabric softener to the wash. You will. Uh, ruin the effect of microfiber, especially uh, using the dry sweep function. And it comes with two cleaning pads. This is a cleaning pad that you can attach the uh, dry mop to. It just has a flat bottom and the pads just stick uh, when they just stuck inside these little grooves uh, inside the, uh, the pad. And they, they attach to the mop uh, in a magnetic fashion. So, and here is also the reservoir pad. And this one actually has a little place for liquid to go. Um, I usually just fill this with water, uh, maybe with a little vinegar as well. As you can see, there are some hairline cracks in mine, which I'm not really sure why, but they have not affected the um, performance of the Brava. So if they do, I will let you know. Um, but there's a little reservoir. You can fill it with uh, a cleaning solution of your choice. It has to be an approved cleaning solution. I do believe um, it will affect this plastic on the inside. So just check uh, the website. So and it uh, distributes the water and keeps the um, pad wet. So here I will show you. This is actually a dirty pad. This is from the last mopping cycle. As you can see, it has definitely picked up some stuff. Um, and I will just throw this in the wash to be cleaned. And here is one that I cleaned. As you can see, it's very clean. So um, let's get started on the uh, cleaning cycle demo. Oh, and actually, I will show you the charger as well. As you can see, it just goes on to the charger quite easily and it sings a little song. <laughs> and it, uh, it sings a little song when you take it off as well. I'm going to demonstrate the uh, sweep cycle first. So I'm going to put the pad onto the cleaning uh, pad here, the cleaning uh, attachment here. And I'm just going to slip these down under here to hold it and uh, if you always if you forget there's definitely a little illustration there showing you what to do and now I'm going to grab the Brava and as you can see it goes right on with magnets science and I'm going to face the navigation cube on the counter to the center of the room and I'm going to start the sweeping process Let's choose sweep. So we'll just choose that and it'll sing its little song and it's going to start. There it goes. See, it goes just straight in motion there. It's going to go straight towards the laundry room. And now the North Star Navigation Cube has started to uh, blink. And as soon as it connects with the Brava, it will go solid. You see how the sweep functions just going straight and she's figuring it out.
and it just picks up um, dust off the floor. It doesn't do anything particularly um, similar to a vacuum. It just dusts the floor. Um, it's good to run it before you uh, run the mop function or if you haven't, um, I don't know, if you, if you haven't vacuumed, you probably should just vacuum. This does not take the place of a vacuum. It doesn't, it doesn't function like the Roomba. Uh, it's just basically a floor sweeper and duster. It does pick up um, particles, but doesn't pick up particularly large particles. And as you can see now, the uh, North Star and the Brava have been connected. The light has gone solid. Now I'm going to fill the uh, reservoir pad with water. overfill it here. There we go. And this should be enough to keep the, uh, the pad wet for the whole cleaning cycle. My floors are fairly clean. I haven't really uh, manually mopped in a little while. I, uh, it's been over a week, uh, but I do get a lot of paw prints tracked in um, from my dog. So um, we're going to uh, see if we can get a nice clean floor um, without those paw prints. You can see pretty much more in the kitchen. There's definitely some um, floor prints. You can see there it's kind of um, messy. The floors are fairly clean, but I'd like to see them a little cleaner. So we'll give the Brava a chance to uh, do a good job on that. All right, I've moistened the pad, I've stuck it on, and the reservoir pad has um, water in it, and I'm going to start it on its mop cycle, and we'll see uh, what happens when it's done. To do a new cycle, if you stop it in the middle of its old cycle, you do need to press the power button to uh, basically make it forget what it's doing. As you can see, the mopping pattern, travel pattern of it, is a little different. It takes a little um, Y pattern. It goes slightly to the right, and then slightly to the left, and then slightly to the right, and then slightly to the left. So it does a pretty effective job of cleaning the floor. It's going so slow that um, the spots where it's already cleaned are not particularly staying super wet. You can also tell it's extremely quiet. I often run this at night before bed and I, I don't hear it at all until it sings its little I'm done song. <laughs> three lights here uh, they all they indicate how far uh, Brava is in its cycle uh, as soon as those lights start going off it's getting more towards the end of its cycle when there's one light left you can tell it's almost done here it's thinking <laughs> As you can see, it's working in the kitchen where it was particularly dirty and it actually got the floor very nice and clean as you can see. There's no more um, disgusting little prints on it <laughs> and it's working hard and see this, uh, it's making that Y pattern. That's its good little mopping pattern. It doesn't see, it doesn't hit, <laughs> the, well it hits the crate but then it, it knows that the crate is there so she can't mop there. There she goes. Nice, clean floor. I've called her Rosie. I have, nick I have nicknamed her Rosie. She's so cute. So here are my thoughts about the iRobot Brava 380T. I love this little robot machine. It's been super helpful, especially in the winter time when my dog brings in these little salty paw prints from outside. 
Uh, I basically just uh, hold my little uh, tendencies and wait till we go to bed and then I uh, set up the Brava, run her at night, and by the time we wake up, we have these beautifully clean floors. Now, is the Brava gonna take the place of a you know, a really thorough mopping with some scrubbing? No, it's not. It's more of a maintenance robot. Um, it does a very gentle cleaning, um, but it's very thorough. It gets into a lot of uh, nooks and crannies and things like that. Every now and again, um, I do run into an issue where it uh, gets stuck in places. And it's happened um, maybe five or six times. And it does sing a little distress song when it gets stuck and the little red light comes on. In that case, you do just go and rescue it and start the cleaning process again and it will continue um, its process from where it left off. I have only had one occasion where the Brava seemed to be a little uh, confused and malfunctioning. Um, it just uh, it went away as fast as it occurred. I didn't have a chance to really troubleshoot or anything like that. It hasn't happened since. So uh, know that occasionally it does or may malfunction. I didn't find the reason. Um, it just seemed to be a little lost and it just recovered miraculously. Other than that, it's worked perfectly fine. It is very quiet and the sweep function is really, really nice if you have some dusty floors. It's particularly helpful if it goes underneath furniture where you don't have a chance to dust all the time, but it's not as good as a manual vacuum or a good manual sweeping. It will uh, leave some larger particles behind. My final verdict is the Brava 380T is pretty cool and I definitely give it two thumbs up and would definitely recommend it to anyone looking for their first uh, mopping robot. Now, if I could only get a Roomba, I wouldn't have to vacuum at all. So that's gonna do it for my review of the iRobot Brava 380T Mopping Robot. Are you thinking about getting one of these? Do you have one of these? Do you have a Roomba? Leave a thought in the comments down below and uh, see you next time. Bye, thanks for joining me.